Careful, you'll step on my cape. Oh, shush. Greetings, travelers. How may I help you? Ugh, not enough for one of these empty babblers. Would you prefer a different line? Let's see. Hail and well met adventures, would you like to try me drinks? No, that feels wrong somehow. Could you try the one where you serve the drinks quietly? Fresh out of that one, sorry. Mm, thought so. Play and try it to try and peer into my backstory. Probably. Uh, I'm warning you. I'm very good at ignoring non-essential NPCs. Why are you ignoring me? Not ye, the innkeep. The innkeep is ignoring me? Not in the slightest. Don't worry too much about him, he's a tad quirky. I see. A thing on your shoulder, is it quirky too? What thing? Ah! My cape! Your cape? It's not his cape. Green feller on your shoulder is a news, or what's left of it. And the rest of it is on you? I pretty tough to clean off. May I ask how that happened? You just did. Maybe I can offer you two a drink in exchange for your stories and your names. Yes, I love stories. Well then, may I have your name? No, but I shall tell it to you. I'm Sir Alphonse Louis Frederic Duquette Dussong. It's long for Kyle. Kyle? Kyle. Well, Kyle, what kind of drink can I offer you? Blood. Or if you're out, I would also settle for something that tastes like blood. Or looks like it. Red is my favorite color. I'll look for something with red in it. All right, what am I making? I'm making a southern brawler, apparently. Some almost blood for you, sir. Oh, thank you very kindly. That looks delicious. Also tastes delicious, very alive. Maybe as a chaser you could let me have a bite. No. Oh, okay. And who may I offer the second drink? Rhea Fosgrip. Nice to meet. Yeah, yeah. Skip. Just serve me something strong, something that makes you feel durable, tough like a mountain, or the caves of Ur. One of those frosted lagoons looks close enough. Coming right up. Uh, Boop. A little bit of strength. Looks like charisma goes in everything. Or it feels like it does. That looks nice. A taste of err, just for you, valued customer number two. Oh, are you hitting the placeholder text? Let me try. I see you are many things, but not a liar. Tastes like a pile of rocks, just like how I like it. So, Rhea, Kyle, what about the ooze-filled story? Fine, I guess you've earned it. All right, picture me deep in the mountains of Dolvamir with my trusty axe and a good drink by my side. There was minding me own business, digging for the good stuff, you know. Hit a gold vein earlier and deemed myself the luckiest dwarf of all time. 
and a real big pile of gold. And suddenly a big ooze comes along and slurp. Gone it was. This is a very boring story. Perhaps we can go to looking for my cape now. It's nearly sunrise. And? The sun kills ye? Oh, right. Did the ooze also eat the cape? Austin found. Perky vampire is looking for his cape. He seems a bit confused. Wanted to go for a scroll in the sun. Yes. No. Oh. Anyways, I wouldn't call myself the best uh, warrior, but that ooze slurped me gold. I had to do something. So I took me shovel and dug and hit and dug and hit until there was nothing left of the ooze anymore. Well, almost nothing. So did you dig out all your gold? Silly food, she dug out me! And guess what he was clinging on to? The gold? Oh yes, a big gold nugget. Should be enough for me to get to Baruvia. And perhaps you can get me a dandy new cape. I don't think so, Sunshine. We had a deal. Ah, we did? Please allow me to question... Uh, what was the deal again? I get you to Bruvia, and so you can participate in your fancy vampire banquet, and in return, I get the gold. But what about my cape? I've learned things about, uh, Rhea. She's a high-headed dwarf and pretty rough around the edges. She's not a fan of meaningless copy-paste NPC talk, whatever any of that means. And it seems to have caught herself a lost vampire while digging for gold. Unfortunately, or so she claims, she's now stuck with him. Where'd you last see your... your cape? Don't even bother. It's a lost cause. I looked everywhere on the way here. Fought cursed chests, many-eyed monstrosities, undead goons. And I started to wonder, where in life did this man put his cape? Where everyone puts their cape. Do you know where I put me capes? Where? In a wardrobe. Oh. So you can wear it inside wardrobe land? What? No. Cal, maybe we could find someone to uh, retrieve your cape for you. We could? Phenomenal. I could put out a quest for you, but for that we need a little more information. Good luck with that. First, I need to know where you last saw your cape. Hmm. I was getting ready to go to the annual banquet hall hosted by Lord Strut in Boruvia. While getting dressed, I realized I couldn't find my cape. My first thought, of course I cannot find it. The cape of invisibility is playing tricks on me. It's quite moody sometimes. Which is truly unfortunate when you want to wear it for an important event. We all know uh, how important a fancy cape is for flaunting your vampire status. Of course. Then what was the last vampire event ye wore your cape to? My wedding. Your wedding? When I married my sweet Evelyn, I simply had to wear my most treasured cape. To show how important she was to me. Evelyn. The vampire countess Evelyn, residing in Marrow Castle. That would be her. Congratulations, are you still married? Vampire last saw his cape on his wedding day. Oh, of course not. I hate her. Every inch of my body. Or her body. Turns out she just wanted... Spit it out, leech. Oh. What? My cape! Ah, rats. Here we go again. My sweet Evelyn stole my cape. What now? A little, I mean, vicious, beautiful beast. Her. That thief of thieves robbed me of my most precious possession. Wouldn't that be your heart? 
No, I had that taken out centuries ago. But my cape, I could never live without that. Oh, sweet, sweet Evelyn. How could you do this to me? I trusted her with all I had. That's rough, buddy. Perhaps, innkeeper. That's your name, right? Sure. Do you think that's the uh, courageous... There's a courageous adventurer out there brave enough to retrieve my precious cape for me. I'm afraid my sweetest Evelyn will kill me if on sight if I ever set foot in her villa again. Yeah. I think we'd find such an adventure. We're setting up the search right now. So, where could a brave adventurer find Marrow Castle? Deep past the abyss of dread, at the foot of a mountain range that looks like a witch's bosom, <laughs> uh, towers the mansion of my dear Evelyn, Queen of Darkness, Temptress of Men, Flamenco Champion of 1467. The right hero should be able to outsmart her and escape with their life. Be wary. She bites. And she might be invisible now. Alright, I think I got everything I need. I'll write up a quest for you. I'm sure you'll have your quest back in no time. Your cape back. I hope so. That reminds me. Not another cursed monologue. And keep quickly. Another drink. I don't think I can make another what tale of woe without some artificial stamina. I need another lagoon. <coughs> I'll see what I can do. Another lagoon, you say? Oh, uh, do. Ding. Some liquid stamina for a valued guest. Uh, let me try. You got it right again. I might even last till the day fall with this. Cow, would you like another drink as well? No. I cannot drink now that I'm consumed with my thoughts of my love's betrayal. Oh, it ails me so. Everything ails you. The whole way here you were complaining about having to walk. My bat form doesn't work like it used to. I'm out of practice and slime weighs heavily on my shoulders. And my back is all itchy. Here, but it is sleep time. Night, night. Good night, Julia. Thanks for stopping by. By the dragons, could it be because you have insisted on sunbathing? Oh, all right. Innkeeper, you have a drink to protect me from the sun. Chance something that would might moisturize my delicate skin. Afraid not. Oh. It reminds me, my Aunt Matilda used to harness the power of Chimera saliva for sun protection. A Chimera? Ooh. Huh. One thing that sounds stands a chance against the grueling curse of the sun is apparently chimera saliva a thing a beast made out of several animals got three heads and all made by the dragons to guard Gaia likes to eat people for breakfast I'm aware I just didn't know it saliva could be so useful ah if only I hadn't eaten a delectable bear chimera in the Scarlet Caves, I could have simply asked for a sample of its saliva. I'm sure that would have gone over well. Actually, I might know where to find one. Really? Will you get it for me, then? No. Oh. What? What are you looking at me for like that? Miss Frostgrip. Dearest Rhea, perhaps we can alter our deal. Oh, nay. 
Forget it. I ain't going. Nothing on me but a uh, shovel of news goop. I'm no match for such a beast. No problem. I can make it another quest for my trusted board. And when will it be done? Tell me, when can I walk among the mortals in the glistening sunlight once more? A peculiar vis visitor looking everywhere for his beloved cape. However, it seems he has definitely lost more than just that. Perhaps also a few of his memories and his marbles. He once married a Lady Evelyn, a vampire countess residing in Marrow Castle, and enjoys sunbathing. Maybe a tad bit too much. As soon as a fearless adventurer picks it up and succeeds. Especially that part. Splendid. Did you hear that? A quest just for me. Let's leave it at two. Say, innkeep, while we wait for someone to do his work for him, do you perhaps have a room for two? Perhaps later, possibly a room without sunlight? One wants Snow White up to go up in flames over here. Sure thing, I got a couple of barred up rooms. You can stay there. How much? You can pay when you leave. Brand. Seems like they gave you more personality than usual. Keep it up. Maybe you'll be a real person one day. Thank you. Enjoy your stay. You too, tasty creature. Oh, I could make a couple new quests. Uh, let's see. Let's do the map. Uh, my, uh, what is it? Chimera. Yeah. Here's the what? I mean, it doesn't feel right. Like, I'm missing some details here. Deep in the quag mangrove resides a wyvern chimera. And scales and claws are valuable treasure to any alchemist is saliva even more so as it happens a certain vampire may be able to use that rare saliva to produce sunscreen so effective that you could walk in broad daylight is there any adventurer or mouse brave enough to confront the beast the chimera not the vampire and bring back a bucket of saliva let's see Quirky vampire is looking for his cape. He seems a bit confused. Wanted to go for a stroll, uh, uh, stroll in the sun. Last the vampire saw it was on his wedding day. At the foot of the Witch's Wrath Peak resides Countess Evelyn. Vampire trans, uh, vampire temptress of men. Does it matter what order I put these in? Like. I like to open up with the what you're doing. At the foot of the Rich's Wrath Peaks resides Countess Evelyn. On a mild summer morning, a senile vampire came to look for his cape of invisibility at the Wayfarer's Inn. After steady questioning, the innkeeper uncovered that he lost his cape at a wedding with his ex-wife Countess Evelyn stole it from him. She resides at the foot of the Witch's Wrath Peak. Venturing to the peak and dare to retrieve his lost cape, but be aware she may be invisible. What do you think, kitty? Oh, you want breakfast too, don't you? Act 1, New Friends and Former Enemies. My shipment of infusions finally arrived this morning. I now have access to fake crystals and frozen pine cones. Together with the Fables, Fables Phoenix chilies, I have three infusions now. I'll unpack them later when I have some time. I have a feeling they'll be of use soon. 